Welcome to Any Resources' first video and introduction video to a uh, new framework I'm working on. I uh, haven't really named it yet, so we're going to call it Project BRPGF, which is Browser Role-Playing Game Framework. Um, I will change it later, but for now that we'll roll with that. Um, before we get too much into it, I wanted to uh, give an explanation of what I'm wanting to do. One of the number one things I see is, is of course, is people wanting to make a web-based uh, game, web-based RPG, whatever it may be, and a lot of people will follow my tutorials and watch them and they, they end up making their own game and they, they end up spending a lot of time learning and, and, and really kind of making the game their own, but the one thing I, you know, I, that I don't notice is there isn't a lot of places to start. There's not a, a lot of frameworks out there that you can just say, okay, I want an RPG, I want it like this, I got this great game idea, all I want to do is be able to plug it into this engine or whatever it may be framework and make my game pretty simply yet add my own features add my own way about it and kind of create my own game and that's what I want to do here I want to create a framework that's simple you just simply download it you know pretty much uh, import the database and start plugging in your own stuff making making everything your own having one a couple sheets of uh, config and a couple sheets of um, basic constants that you just define and you're done you're, you're not necessarily done but you're ready to get started on your game and that's what I want to do here um, the 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 one thing that I've found as I've been kind of working through this over the, especially over the years is that it's it's not like a normal 3D engine where you can kind of um, build one type of engine and build a multiple games from it with with a web game like we're talking about there, there's so many different types it's hard to build one framework that'll encompass them all so what I want to do is, is I want to build a framework that we can build the most popular type of game from that we can expand from and then slowly expand the framework or add a new framework if we have to for other types of games so for instance if you have an RPG where players are playing characters and stuff that's a lot different than say having a, um, a game where you have kingdoms and you're taking over other kingdoms or having a game to where it's a lot like the uh, let's say mafia games or, or something like that so there, there's a lot to encompass here in, into one framework and so we're going to start from the, the least common denominator and build our way out and that's that's kind of the point behind this and what we're going to accomplish with this um, but what I want to do is I want to as I build this framework I want to build the videos on it and, and, and so everybody can watch how it's built so you can go in there and edit it however you want you can make whatever game you want and you can make it your own game and if we do this right it, there's possibilities of literally having a large network of games all running on the same type of framework to where you can literally take your game your character and import it into somebody else's game now I don't know you know that's a future thing that we maybe one day we could come up with or something like that but it's just the idea of being able to take different components and, and, and eventually I want to have extensions and plugins to where we can just if one person created a brand new um, feature that he wanted for his game whatever it may be he can plug that into he can pretty much load that up to the site and other people who want that feature can plug it into their game and we can make this an interchangeable large system to where everybody's kind of you could literally stretch out games across multiple databases multiple um, multiple different types of games and there's, there's a lot to do with it if we had one complete system and that's what we're going to accomplish here and not only that on the on the other side of this I just want an easy framework. I want, I want for those of you that I've heard so many great game ideas, but a lot of people lose a lot of steam behind um, just being overwhelmed with how much they have to do, and and that's what I want to do here is just create something that's that's simple that you can get up and going, and really get your game really started. Because the more time you spend actually on the des on the design of the game, on the features, the better the game's going to be, and not having to deal with all the the, the back end stuff and the and the, the heavy framework stuff. And I know I've cr started I've created so many games that when starting over, it's just become this massive pain because I'm having to start everything all over again, recode everything, and I, I'm just tired of it. I want a framework out there. So we're going to attempt to do this and, and I'm going to rely heavily on everybody out there to give me ideas, give me features, you know, help help me with code, help me with everything else and and, and all of us together kind of make this happen. Because, um, you know, I'm going to make mistakes. We're, we're going to uh, we're going to implement features that we may not like later or something we might miss. So it's going to be a learning experience for us, for us all. But the best thing is you're not just going to be handed a framework and say, OK, here's your framework. Go for it. You're going to be able to watch the video from the very start to the end on this thing. Um, this is going to be well, I'll tell you what, let's get started with with what I have in front of us now. And that's 
um, the basic idea of what I want to do now. This is a simplistic idea. This is this is the start. This is not the finish. This is not the finish end goal. What I want to do. This is where we're going to start from. And basically, what I just want to show is we have you know we have a client or client in our server. That's going to be you know the clients back and forth to the server. Um, and this could be made a different way with server and a whole bunch of clients. But that's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, branching off that, I have you know the player. Well, what what defines the player? His stats, his skills, his inventory, which I consider all of equipment, um, and his combat. So with the stats, what I want to do there, I want to have the, your basic strength, um, agility, dexterity, what it may be, wisdom, whatever. But I don't want to name them that. I'm going to name constants that that you guys will be able to go in and make it your own name. In other words, if you don't want strength, if you want it to say physique or whatever, you can do that. That's what's going to be printed to the screen, but we're for the, the back-end type stuff, we're going to go ahead and define those stats and just name them one constant variable and then it's going to it doesn't matter after that. It doesn't matter if I named them strength, you named it physique, it's all going to mean the same thing on the back-end. Um, and we're going to kind of go, the, the one thing we got to work out is what stats do we want? Um, how do we want the combat to work? So we're going to work on that later. Our skills I want to make the skill system to where you can go in and easily add your own skills just by I want to make a back end section to where into your database it's it's some basic names and and everything ties into where if you want to add a skill for lumbering and because we haven't added it you can just go in and add it and you can actually export that little bit into a file and, and hand it out so in other words let's say you make 20 new stats based on a space game all about flying a ship and you want to hand that to other people who want to do a space game. You'll be able to, to hand that information off to people and they can import it easily into their own game. Um, so the skills are going to be quite quite broad on what we're going to do there. Inventory system, we're talking about uh, armor, weapons, items, your actual backpack, um, everything that, that revolves around that. And that also is going to be interchangeable. And the other thing I really want to do with this is building a crafting system to where players can kind of build their own, own equipment. And we're going to have a back end for the GMs and the, and the, and the admins to where inventory is easily created. Combat. Combat's going to be the probably the hardest thing we're going to have to come up with because not everybody wants the same combat, but yet we're going to still have to work with with the same stats and the same equipment and I don't want to say equipment, equipment stats, let's, let's put it that way but I want combat to be be uniqueable, in other words everybody can make kind of their own combat yet it's still going to be coming off the same stats so we're going to do some plug-in type situations there to where you can have your combat, combat a, a base combat that's going to be base for everybody and then it's going to be kind of like plugins to add new things to it so uh, it's hard to explain now but we'll get into it later but it will be unique for everybody um, the next thing is our map system um, that's you know that's to me that's the other big thing if we can get the player ready to go and we can have a map system there we, we've got something and then we can branch out from there it's not the end all this is just the base that I want to get out with so the map system to me is very important because I don't want to make it all text based I want a map system I want a nice map system I want a movable map system a travelable and we'll, we'll go through that as, as when we get there but to me the basic three things are locations um, villages cities um, sh that includes shops, um, you know, everything that, that's part of a location, in forest, whatever it may be, a travelable location. Um, then our map stats, okay, is it, a, is it a forest? Can I lumber there? Can I mine there? Is it a lake? Can I fish there? Is it a city? How big is the city? Does a mayor run it? Or are we going to have player-based mayors? Things like that. Um, and then the whole travel system behind it. How are we going to travel? Is it going to be point to click? Is it going to be mouse move? Is it going to be um, WASD keys? Is it going to be real time? Whatever. I, technically, I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want real time. It's it's a lot better having that static, so you can you can base things more on a on a on a stat based system to where it's not. It, it, to me, it's a lot easier because you're just transferring data one time. You're not worried about chasing a bunch of players around it and it, it doesn't turn into an MMO, full on MMO, crazy MMO and we're not having to get that side of it and that's not the side I want to go with. I want to go with a uh, graphically text based type MMO framework here and we can work on the, I do want to have a plug in this real time later but not for now. So that's going to be the basic setup in the beginning of what we want. Um, some of the features and these are not all the features, these are just some features I threw together real quick that I would like that I, I do want to get to player owned land and locations, player owned shops, player owned cities, player owned land bases, farms, whatever it may be, they're going to have player owned. Um, a pet system, definitely want a pet system. I've, I've heard a million people ask me about the pet system. 
Um, PvP, definitely player versus player, player versus environment. We're going to have all that in there. Vehicles for the travel system. That's the first thing I thought was, you know, being able to fast map travel. Huge crafting system. I'm big about crafting. And let me just say this. The number one thing I want to get out of this and, and build into this as far as feature-wise is players playing together. The true MMO side of it. Players uh, guilds and things like that and, and I'll go down the system I mean I'll go down through this and, and kind of explain what I'm talking about but I want ma massive player interaction um, skill system of course profile and messaging system we definitely need which I misspell system um, jails hospitals now I know that kind of sounds weird but I, I, I do want a thievable area I want areas I want you to I want players to be able to do things that could possibly send them to jail and you're just your character is going to sit in there but you'll be able to message and things like that. And then also with hospitals, and it may not necessarily be hospitals, but I want a place to where if you die, I don't want you just starting over. I want that. And it may not be a hospital. It may be something else that we come up with, but something that that pertains, that gives that, that, that worry of death. Um, guilds, of course. I'm, I'm big into guilds. Ever changing your growing landscape. I want the, like in most of my games, I want it growing as people cut into it or people tear it up it, it changes people build cities it changes the landscape so it's always going to be changing command based skills and spells I love the idea of if you have a skill say um, hacking computers you actually have to know the commands and go in there and type those commands we're not going to make it complicated we're just going to make it fun to where you're, it's not just clicking a button oh I did my skill it's going to be and especially with spells you want to cast a spell you better know the name and the command and, and, and how you base that command how you type that if you misspell if you type special keys keywords after it, it will create a stronger spell and that's what I want to put in there that that way it adds that much more dynamics when when people start making their games their own and we start having 50 of these games out there it's all going to be based on commands and, and a lot of other things that are really going to make the games different now that doesn't mean everything's going to be command based it's just we're going to have that element in there and of course an auction system we've got to have an auction system there's a ton more features we're going to add to this but I just want to give a general idea of the kind of things I want to take nearly every idea that's ever been handed to me everything I've ever seen in, in a cool um, you know, MMO and, and really try to bring it into one as part of this. This and you can take these things out if you don't like them. I want to make them plug inable to where you can just take them out to where you don't even have to use them. Um, so if you don't want the jails or hospitals, you don't want guilds, you can take them out. No big deal. Um, and the last thing, what are we going to be using? Well, first, um, get WAMP or example, whatever you want to use as long as you know what you're doing. If you don't, you can go to WAMP server to get WAMP. If you've never used WAMP before, that means you've never watched my tutorials. I recommend at least watching the first couple of the tutorials. Um, I'm going to use Eclipse IDE in this because it's free and you can actually go to Eclipse downloads and you can get the... Um, I'm downloading it now because my because uh, I have the Java version of Eclipse, but I figured I would try. They actually have a web version of Eclipse. Eclipse um, ID for JavaScript web developers. Um, says here for JavaScript, HTML, CSS, XML. I'm not sure about PHP, um, how well it's going to do. If it's So I'm going to look for that package, but I'm going to try to use Eclipse for this because everybody can kind of use the same thing if we want to. And I didn't want to use Komodo because it costs money and not everybody's going to be able to use it. So you can use Dreamweaver. You can use whatever you want. I, I don't care. I'm just going to try for my purposes. We're all in the same coding block. Um, of course, going to be using PHP, JavaScript, Ajax, uh, MySQL, CSS, HTML5. We're going to be using all these in course HTML. We're going to be using all these into it and because we're going to have different ways of doing this. A lot of this can be refresh based um, and, and server side stuff but I want Ajax for you know for little things. I want um, definitely going to be using a lot of JavaScript but a lot of it's going to be PHP. A lot of the back end is going to definitely going to be PHP. So we're really going to um, we're going to use a lot of things. We're all going to learn together and we're all going to try to make this just a, a really cool project.